and we do have a unhappy land. No, no! Hey, what's up, guys? We back with another brawl deck. Hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't. But yeah, today we got a little bit of a meme deck. A um, easy combo utilizing the first sliver, a Wooberg 7 7 uh, with Cascade. Sliver spells you cast have Cascade. And uh, I'm sure plenty of you have already seen the combo, but this is for people who haven't or just needed a deck list. And as you guys can see, the deck only has three non land cards, including the commander, and the rest of the deck is just lands. The first non land card we have is Tibble's Trickery. Counter target spell, choose one, two, or three at random. Its control mills that many cards. Then exiles the top cards from their library until they exile a non-land card with a different name. They may cast the card without paying its mana cost. Then put the exiled cards on the bottom of their library in a random order. And we have the Cultivator Colossus, a 7 mana plant beast with trample. When it enters the battlefield, uh, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield if you do draw a card and repeat the process but yeah game plan real simple real easy play the first lever on turn five the cascade will hit the tibble's trickery which will hit the only other card in the deck the cultivator losses and let you cast it without paying its mana cost when it hits the battlefield you get to play the rest of your deck with just all lands and our goal is to get 10, or I guess 9 guild gates and, with the, and the mazes end on the battlefield. Because this is the win con of the deck. Um, it enters tapped. Return for 3 mana tap. You can return mazes end to its owner's hand. Search your library for a gate card. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle. If you control 10 or more gates with different names, you win the game. So obviously... There are lots of ways that this combo gets interrupt interrupted. Mainly you die <laughs> before you can play the sliver or it gets countered. And the other ways it can get ruined is if they destroy the mazes end with one of uh, a land that destroys a non-basic land, for example. But even if they do kill the mazes end, we still could win with the Cultivator Colossus. So it's going to be like an 80 80 with trample and we also have the layer of the hydra which can attack as a really big creature so that could win if they don't have a blocker but yeah we're relying on the mazes end to win us the game oh very quickly i forgot to mention that this uh, combo obviously fails if you draw one of your combo pieces or Tibble Trickery mills the Colossus or Maze's end. So let's get into a game where it can do the combo. Alright, on the play, check. None of the combo pieces in our hand, check. And we're going against Florg, Dean of Chaos. Um, 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, discard a card, draw a card. 5 mana, tap, reveal the top card of your library until you reveal a non-legendary, non-land card with a converted mana value 3 or less. You may cast that spell without paying its mana cost. Put all reveal cards not cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. And the back side. Other tap creatures you control get plus one plus oh. Other untapped creatures you control get plus oh plus one. Whenever you attack, whenever you attack, untap each creature you control, then tap any number of creatures you control. Alright, that was too much reading for me. Especially because we're not even going to pay attention to what it does. Because um, we're playing a single player game on this side. And um, we're just trying to play five lands. Then this liver. The first liver. And hope that wins the game. I feel like they're trying to combo off or something as well. With all of these cards that they've binned already. Yeah, let's just keep on playing our lands. Make sure we have five different color mana. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Alright, that, that was it. They have nothing but dragon approach. And Velomagus. But we might be okay. We'll see. Make sure we have all our colors. There's our first gate on the board. Nine more of those and we might have a chance. But while we're taking eight damage here, 11, 12 damage here. So we're gonna have to gain a ton of life off our lands to make sure we don't die the turn after. Yeah, this is the thing I noticed though. When you're playing a combo deck of your own, you get to you get put into a cube of other combo decks. All right. Choose sliver. Cast out the first sliver. And here goes the combo. <laughs> when a good gaming us. But yeah, let's um start slamming out all of these lands. There's a life gain land, which is nice. We might have to go through like our entire deck to make sure we don't die. We're gonna have to gain a ton of life here. Two gates. The mazes end. Gate number three. Gate number four. Gate number five. Gate number six. Gate number seven. Gate number nine. That should be good enough. Alright, let's hope we gained enough life here. Five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think they can do eleven, twelve damage. No, eleven damage this turn. Okay. So we should be okay. Since they only should have the dragon approaches plus ways to pitch them in their deck. Yes, we have the dragon maze on the board somewhere. I should probably find it. There it is. The maze is end, sorry, not dragon maze. And we obviously have an 87. <laughs> 87 trample. And we also have the Hydra land on the board that can get plus X plus X until end of turn. And with this many lands, that should be lethal as well. Oh, they had exact lethal. Oh, no, never mind. But yeah, let's just crack. The maze's end. <laughs> and win the game this way. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Deckless is in the graveyard for this fun, easy combo deck. See you guys next time.